Adolfo Pastor gets a new lease on life thanks to the sacrifice of a stranger. David Gonzalez is the pastor of Celebration Church St. Bernard Campus. He received a miracle organ from a stranger who really wasn't a stranger at all. And then the doctor comes in to tell me and my wife, she said, the minute, the absolute second I hooked up the last valve to the kidney, instantly that kidney took off. A match made in heaven after a tough cancer battle on earth. And at one point, the doctors were like, um, I don't think he's going to overcome this because I was so sickly. David Gonzalez was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in 2020. The aggressive treatment for the rare form of blood cancer weakened the 49-year-old physically and emotionally, and eventually his kidneys stopped working. The multiple myeloma is what destroyed my kidney. He was on dialysis for 10 hours a day and on the verge of giving up. I'm just done. I can't stand another poke, another needle, another bone marrow biopsy. I just can't do it no more. That's when his wife Jennifer made a post about his plight on social media. The message went viral, reaching scores of people in the virtual world, including a stranger named Chris Stahl. I really felt, I felt it in my heart. Who felt a strong nudge in his heart to donate his kidney and save the life of this husband and father of three? I lost my dad. He had cancer, and that's really as I was reading through the post, um, and I saw he had cancer and he had children. I just wanted to, if I could help him in any way. He underwent a few tests, and after he got the all clear, he knocked on David's door to introduce himself. I said, "Chris, how can I pray for you?" And he said, "Well, you can you can pray for." my kidneys. And he said, well, I need to tell you, I'm your donor, so can you pray for me and your kidneys? As fate would have it, these two strangers discovered their lives have been intertwined all these years. They were neighbors living down the street from each other, and the two men and their siblings all went to the same daycare as toddlers. Went to my grandmother's daycare 40 years ago. 40 years ago. So I saw them as little kids, and so I'm God performed another miraculous healing in my life, two of them. And so I, I, I'm so grateful to Chris and his family. Chris smiled his way through the entire procedure, knowing he is saving a life. He says his dad would be very proud. He tells me all the time, uh, you know, how proud he is, and he so, shows me different signs. Um, I felt like it was him directing me the whole way. Signs of hope and healing everywhere as they celebrate a new brotherhood, divinely appointed. And God had it in, in the works from a long time ago. And a perfect match written in the stars. In fact, we, we, Chris named his kidney, gave me destiny. Wow. That's what he named it. And so I claim that because I was destined yeah. by the grace of God to be able to get a second chance at life. And David's cancer is now gone, but he will have to be on maintenance medicine and monitored for a few more years. Chris says even with one kidney, he feels great, and he would like to encourage more people to donate if you can.